On Thursday, 10th October 2019, the people of Winlunga, Kabempo and Kaoma districts who exercised their constitutional right to vote for a leader of their choice in a by-election. The campaign period has been going on smoothly without any pocket of violence, but on Sunday, fracas erupted between the UPND and the Patriot Front, which led to the subsequent shot to death of a UPND supporter, Lawrence Banda, by Patriot Front Kada, as confirmed by the Zambia police spokesperson, Esther Katonga, and UPND spokesperson, Charles Kakoma. Patriot Front Kada is in Kaoma today shot a UPND member in the head and is battling for his life in Kaoma General Hospital. The UPND member was shot twice in the head after armed PF cadres invaded the UPND camp in Kaoma Central. The PF cadres found some UPND women at the camp at Kaoma site and service preparing some meals and attacked them. In the process, one of our youth uh, tried to save the women. It was at this point that uh, he was shot twice in the head. But earlier, Western Province Police Commissioner indicated that the police nabbed a UPND who shot his fellow opposition party member and injured one person, contrary to Mrs. Katongo's revelation. The incident in Kaoma has saddened all People's Congress Party President Nasan Masoni. Uh, first, we condemn the violence. The shooting incident must be condemned in the strongest terms. And we think that our political parties should not be militarized. We must condemn the militarization of political parties. And we should also condemn the giving of small arms to young people. These young people need jobs and not guns. Now, the incident that happened in Kahoma speaks to the irresponsibility of those Individuals, leaders, distributing arms to young people. We think that this was to be expected. When you give arms, small arms to young people, expect a bloodbath. Meanwhile, campaign for UPND in Winilunga has accelerated with only two days remaining before voting day. <laughs> Pamela Mulenga, CBC News.